Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this demo, we will do something in Visual Studio of how to version our APIs and specifically we will be using URI path versioning where the version number is included within the URI path to retrieve two different versions of our API to the end user. Let's talk about versioning, specifically URI path versioning. So now we have a officer's controller that is basically returning employee ID, the office ID and the location of the office. Now suppose that in the future or in the next version, people have raised concerns about returning the employee ID and we do not want to return any employee ID. So how do we do that? So we can do that with the help of versioning. So we can basically create another version of the API which basically returns only the ID and the location and not returning employee ID. So there are several steps to implement versioning. The first thing is that we need to update in config file. Okay. So we need to update in webapi.config. So we already have one route over here, route table. So we need to go and add another route table. Okay. So I have added another route table over here and let me rename this as version one and let me rename this route as version two. Okay. And let me just align this. And if you see this route template as basically API slash v1 slash controller and ID and I have given the default as officers controller and in this particular template we have instead of v1 we have v2 and the controller is, that is being called is officers v2 rather than officers. So that is the first change that we need to make which is in the web API config.cs. So once we make the change, next we need to go and make the change within the model. That's basically because we have a whole separate controller over here and we need to create an appropriate model for that. So let me go to my model and right click and add a new class and let me call the model as updated office. And once the model is added, I will replace the contents with this. Okay. So basically updated office contains only ID and location and it has no connection to employee. Okay. So let me import the namespace over here and let me save the file. Once I add the model, I need to add the model to my context as well. So let me go to the context and add my new model in the context as well and save the file. Once the model has been created, we need to add the controller as well. So let me right click on controllers and say add a new controller. I will add a web API controller and I will have the model class as updated office. Everything else remains the same and I will click add. It says that there is an error so let me try rebuilding the project and I will try to add the controller now. model is again updated office and click add. And this is the controller and if you see it is returning updated office rather than office. So once the controller and the model are set the final thing that we need to do is to add the data in my seed method. So that's basically within my configuration and within my configuration classes seed method I go down and what I do is I 
add the code for inserting data into my updated office and I'll save the file so what I have done is I have deleted previously all the migrations and the database as well so let me check if the database is real gone yeah the database is gone and there are no migrations so what I will do now is go to my package manager console and add a migration calling it v2 once the migration has been added I will go and update the database the database is updated successfully so now what we will do is we will go to our application or we'll go to the browser and just say according to what is defined in the web api.config so basically we need to say api slash v1 okay so if i say api slash v1 i basically get id location and employee id so if i need to get the second version or the latest version i need to say api slash v2 okay so if I say API slash v2 I should be getting but it says that it is not able to match a controller named offices v2 okay so let's check what is the issue over there here I am having the controller offices v2 but actually we have added updated offices okay so basically we have given different names across uh, different files so let me go to web api.config and let me update it as updated offices so that is the default page okay and now let me build the solution once the build is success I will go and say slash v1 yeah slash v1 is working fine as usual we are getting employee id id and location and let me say slash v2 I should be getting updated office with only ID and location so we have seen how do we use URL path versioning okay that's basically including the version within the URI path to successfully create different versions of the API so basically it's a long winter process you need to update the route config or the web API config you need to create accordingly the models the controllers you need to seed the database accordingly and then you need to apply the migrations so that's all i have about versioning thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning